Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Oh, and welcome to today's tutorial, which is going to be for the Tilda Angel Mouse, which is a free download on the Tilda World website. I will pop a link down um, in the description box to the pattern for you so that you can find it. So what you need to do is print off the pattern and the instructions. Now the pattern pieces come on two pieces at the end of the uh, little booklet and you need to print those onto cardboard, which I've done here. And I have cut them all out. Then, once you've done that, you then need to trace around your pieces. Now in the pattern you'll notice that this is all done in normal quilting fabric. I've decided to use the Tilda Doll fabric um, because it's so much easier to work with. Now, I have done a Q&A on the truth about Tilda Doll fabric um, in this week's chat. Um, it'll be in the title of the description if you want to learn more about Tilda Doll fabric because Tilda Doll fabric is not all the same, regardless of what some people may think. It is definitely different. So um, if you want to learn all about that, go back and have a look at the video prior to this one. Um, but anyway, so I decided to use the Tilda Doll fabric in the body of my little mouse and I am using a contrast for the skirt, contrast for the angels and a contrast for the inner ears. And the contrast that I'm using is the same fabric that I've used on the outer border of the Flowers of Love quilt that I've just recently posted in the Tilda group. Um, I've got some of it left, so I've decided to use this little piece here. So this is for the wings, and I have traced um, two sets of wings and two of the inner ears on the fabric that is doubled over with the right sides together there like so. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew it around the ears. So we're going to sew all the way around and stop there and do that on both. And then we will cut it out with a quarter inch seam. With the wings, we've got um, the little openings here on the pattern. You can see here that this is the openings. So we're going to sew from one dot all the way around to the other dot. And same thing, we're going to cut it out with a quarter inch seam. We're going to clip those curves there to make sure that it turns nicely because remember this is not Tilda Doll fabric and it's not going to be as pliable. Um, so you just make sure that you do those curves really well on those wings. And then for the body of our little mousy here, we've got our head and you'll see on the pattern that there is a cut out section here. You do need to cut that out. Um, and then you have the opening down the bottom here. So you need to sew all the way around to that point there. And then so from that point there all the way around here to the opening. On the body we've got the opening here at the side, same thing, we're going to sew all the way around here. Legs and the arms are the same. Now when you are going to be doing dolls um, you will need to shorten your stitch length just to make sure that you get that really nice finish. Um, so make sure that you do that. Once you've sewn all of your body pieces you can then cut everything out with a quarter inch seam. You will still need to clip the curves on your curved pieces, so the ends of your arms and legs and around your ears and things. Um, but you will find that when you are using the current Tilda Doll fabric, um, that it is so much easier to work with when you're doing stuffies. But as I said, if you want to know more about that, just go to the video prior and um, I'll explain explain it all to you. So I'm going to go off now and I'm going to stitch around all of these. I'm going to turn them in the right way and then I'm going to stuff them. So that's going to keep me busy for quite a number of hours. And then I'll come back and we'll keep moving on from there. Okay, so now before we get to the next stage, you can see here I've cut all my bits and pieces out. I'm starting to turn them. Um, but we've got to the head and I forgot to tell you because we've done it a few times now in our other videos. But Anyway, this might be the first time that you've watched a video. So you've sewn all around your head and now you have this opened um, V here. So what you need to do is you need to pull it apart and join those two seams here, like that. Pop a pin in them, or a few pins. And then you're going to sew all the way down that opening. And that is going to... Um, sew up the back of your head and give your head a 3D look. So, and then you can turn it to the right side and stuff it. So I will sew across that and then I will um, be able to turn it through 
and stuff my head. Now the other thing I wanted to show you before I go ahead and continue to do my stuffing is the ears. Now you have your outer ear and then you have your inner ear. And so what you need to do is to match them up like that. So you're going to sort of center it, your raw edges there together. Pop a couple of pins in it. And now you're just going to pin it through that first layer there. Like that. And then you're just going to blind stitch down that inner ear to the outer ear. But obviously only through this first layer there of ear. And then that will give you your two pieces of ear together. So you'll need to do that to both. Rightio, so we've got some body pieces here. We've got our little head, which I've stuffed, and you can see very clearly up there the um, the line that we've put in, which gives it that 3D look. I've got a bit of, um, I use a wool stuffing. It's a, it's a wool blend stuffing, and it, it's fantastic because you get that really good density, but it gets stuck to everything, so I'm forever cleaning, cleaning it off. There's the body, and you can see there that I've stitched that closed and then we have our little limbs here now I just do need to uh, wipe down the um, edges here I've just got a little baby wipe because I used a water soluble marker when I traced it out and it has come through a little bit on the fabric so that's fine that'll all dry and it'll be lovely so there we have our little arms and legs there um, I've done the ears and you can see there that I have left um, you're still able to stuff it, um, but this has been hand stitched down all the way around. So, and I've turned under the little seam allowance there so that you've got a nice, neat area to stitch it onto the head. Uh, and now, the other thing that I've done is I have done the wings. I'm not actually going to use these wings um, because I have got some feather ones I want to use on this doll, but I wanted to show you how they're done. So, you turn them in the right way, turn under your seam allowance there and give it a little press. And then there's some marks on the pattern piece. I can just find the pattern piece there. So you have a couple of marks there on the pattern piece. These ones here. You can either hand stitch those on or machine stitch those on after you've turned it in. So that when you are going to stuff your wings the stuffing is going to go down into these little crevices here and it'll give you the appearance of a nice little um, formed wing but as I said I've made them just because I wanted to show you um, what they were going to look like but I'm not going to actually use them because I have these in my stash now these aren't actually Tilda brand wings I'm not I'm not sure where I got them from I've had them for quite a long time they've got a glitter to them um, but I figured that they're going to look, you know, quite nice behind this little um, doll. So we'll use those. Okay, so the next stage is we've got to attach the head. And you can see there that I've folded under that seam allowance. So obviously I did that with the iron before I stuffed the head. And we're just going to pop that down like that. And then we're just going to stitch it on. So the best idea is to pin it so that you can get a nice firm head. You can see there, and I'll pin it on the other side. There we go. And you could just match that seam there. Can you see that I've, I've matched that seam? So just give it a nice um, little whip stitch all the way around in a thread. I'm using a uh, bottom line superior thread but it's um, it's a creamy sort of off color which sort of suits my Tilda doll fabric quite well so that's what I've been hand stitching with um, and I'm also going to once I've done the head I'm also going to sit and hand stitch on these ears now from the pattern it looks as though they've gathered them up a little bit first um, so sort of like that give them a bit of a cupped look and then I'll stitch those on as well. Now the other bit of hand stitching that you need to do is to hand stitch on your little arms and legs. So we'll come back when we've got everything to that stage. Okay, she's together. So we've got our little head, 
the little head is stitched on there, the little ears are stitched on and the arms and the legs. Now be sure to remember to put the openings on the back of your arms and legs. I had to take one off because I'd forgotten to do that so I just thought I'll give you a quick reminder. Now we're going to make the tail. So the uh, instruction sheet here says to cut a piece of fabric 10 inches by one and a quarter inches and then to fold it to the centre, both sides to the centre and then fold over again um, and stitch down that. Now it doesn't say to fold the raw edges in on the ends but I have done that because otherwise you're going to have a raw end. So the first thing that I did there, you can see, is I folded over the end. Then I folded the center, uh, the two pieces into the center, and now I've folded it over and I'm going to stitch it. And then all we're going to do is to stitch this on um, like so, and that will be our little tail. So I'll go ahead now and stitch it on the machine and pop it onto our doll. Okay, there we go, one little tail is attached can see there I've just stitched it on the back. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to follow the pattern for the dress um, because, well it's just a little ruffle really, but I'm going to put a little lace ruffle around the neck and I've, you can see there I have sewn it together, I've made a little loop and then I'm just going to gather that now around the neck and then I've made, um, I've got some long lace here and I've made that into a tube and I'm going to dress her in that and I'm going to gather it um, under the shoulders. So I'll just tuck the tail in. And I'm just going to, yep. Yeah. Even though one's bone and one's cream, I wanted that look. That was the whole purpose. So now I'm just going to gather that. And that's just going to sit there um, as a little dress. And then I will attach, I will attach the little wings. Just all I've got left to do now is to paint the eyes on and to embroider the nose and give her a little bit of blush. Then she's done. So anyway, um, I hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial. As always, I just try to make it a little bit more simpler for you. Um, if you want to go ahead and do the fabric wings, that's okay. You could even leave the wings off if you want to, even though it's called an angel, um, an angel mouse, isn't it? Yes, an angel mouse. Um, you know, uh, the wings um, are an added extra. Anyway, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye.